Pierre, how are you? Hey, James, how are you? Good. Good, how are you? Well, very well indeed. Um, I was just thinking of you, how's the situation with the vineyards in Bordeaux with all this rain and I heard mildew and... Well, it's, uh, <clears throat> it's quite an interesting uh, season, uh, very unusual uh, for what we've seen so far. Uh, we had rainfalls, uh, well, I think it's one of the record for more than 100 years so far. Wow. Yeah, really, really big. And, uh, well, as you know, the winter was quite, uh, quite good. Uh, we had a, a nice winter, but spring was quite uh, uh, earlier than usual. So we faced frost, as you heard. Yeah, that's you, right. Yeah. I guess, remember that? Yeah. And then after the season was starting very well, and uh, suddenly the rain was uh, quite very, very heavy. But not only in Bordeaux, it was quite the same uh, situation in uh, south of France, uh, Burgundy, Alsace, Loire. So it's really, really unusual what we, what we are facing so far. Uh, mildew pressure is uh, very, very huge. Uh, I think it's even worse uh, compared to 2018. Wow. <laughs> it's really Unusual. I mean, people can uh, can get some uh, sep mushrooms and girol <laughs> at this All the time. <laughs> so it's uh, it's very tricky uh, and could be uh, lots. I heard that uh, in places, uh, lots of damages have been made uh, because of the mildew. Uh, mm -hmm. But so far, we 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 quite good at Croix de l'Abri. Axel is really uh, managing that very well, uh, and. <laughs> We are in organic certified and biodynamic, but uh, even though uh, we had some loss uh, due to the mildew, but uh, that's nature. Uh, the thing is uh, today it's uh, quite uh, sunny. So the weather should change uh, within three days, four days, and then the forecast should be uh, sunny and uh, hot. So we expect okay, that from, from now. So that's really late because in the past you had rainy weather like that but it only lasted till um, about till June, like mid June. So this is six weeks later. Yeah, six weeks later. And uh, the, the thing is during the flower, the flowering has been done uh, very well. It was really beautiful. But then after the weather uh, start to change and even the temperatures drops, which was quite uh -huh. unusual for July, it remembers me a little bit like uh, 2011. Uh, so far, uh, we had a quite a, wet and cold conditions uh, during uh, 2011. And then after uh, the season was quite uh, improving for, for the best. So it's not easy at all because it's uh, really asking us uh, to be 100% full time in the vineyard and uh, find solutions to avoid mildew to make a strong attack. But so far it's okay, even if it's not easy, but we are doing, uh, we are doing good so far. Okay, well, fingers crossed for you. So, <laughs> so tell me about, uh, so I only have the Quad de l'Abri. Um, tell me about your thoughts about 2019, now that it's been bottled, like we, you know, we knew how wonderful it was uh, from barrel. And are you really, you know, how do you feel now that the wine's in bottle? Wow, I mean... <clears throat> It confirms what we were uh, saying uh, when we taste in barrel uh, 2019. Uh, we did the bottling, it was the 24th of June, which was a full mm -hmm. moon and a fruity day on biodynamic calendar. And uh, we, we wait a little bit to retaste the wines, but uh, it really confirms uh, the beautifulness that we have on this uh, great vintage. Uh, it's still very dense, very fruity, uh, nice complexity. And w I remember when we taste together uh, 2019 on Primeur, uh, we had this uh, multi-layers wines coming through at the end with super balance and silky. And indeed, uh, as Axel uh, told me uh, yesterday, because we retaste uh, 2019, and uh, she was very, very surprised on the on this purity uh, that we have uh, since few vintages from now. But uh, she's explaining that, uh, and we think that it's coming from the biodynamic approach, uh, this purity that we have. And also uh, the fact that uh, now the parcels that we have on the plateau, which is limestone and asteris limestone on clay, are just starting to show out. 
So it's, for us, it's kind of the beginning of a new story coming over. But it's very, really, very and and it really took the lavage well. It, it aged really nicely in barrel. The tanners yeah, are really fine, and that was one of the of the key factor on the on our way of the élevage. Uh, we we do we are doing uh, at least during six months uh, on total fine lease on the élevage, so that mm. really to to protect naturally with the reduction over uh, that avoid to have uh, sulfites. But beside that, it, it thanks to that, it's people and friends from Burgundy who teach that. Uh, mm -hmm. It helped us to, to try to work this middle of palette and make it very sensual. And indeed, uh, the élevage in 2019 has been done perfectly. We didn't have any troubles. And the fact by being smooth uh, on this vintage uh, is really tremendous. That's going to be another big, big one. But it's, uh, there's a lot of uh, tannins, but the tannins are so fine grained. You know, it's it's a pleasure to to taste. No, definitely. I mean, 2019 is going to be a vintage that uh, I think we'll need to, if people will be patient enough uh, to yeah. keep at least uh, 15 years to start to enjoy. Yeah. Because indeed, as you said, the tannins are super silky, but very pleasant. Yeah. So the, the potential of aging of the vintage is just uh, fantastic. Definitely fantastic. And what do you think? What, what was the assemblage nor, uh, normal or was it a little bit different? No, it's a little bit different. Uh, as a 2020 vintage, uh, it was in 2019, 97% uh, Merlot and 3% oh, okay. Cabernet Sauvignon. In fact, we are increasing the proportion on Cabernet Sauvignon. And uh, since a few years now, we have started a massal selection on the Cabernet Sauvignon. And we have some 100 uh, years vine roots and a few vine trees are ungrafted. So we're doing a massage selection on the Cabernet Sauvignon. And we think with Axel that the, the Cabernet Sauvignon is making Croix de l'Abri uh, fantastically uh, intense, but also with uh, climate change, we are yeah. turning more and more on Cabernet Sauvignon. And also I find that, uh, that it really is, has a clarity to it, the, your wine in 19 it really has a minerality and clarity the fruit is very transparent as are the tannins it was very precise and not overpowering well uh, this we could explain uh, uh, that thanks to the terroir uh, it's really uh, the terroir expression and beside that uh, on the other side of the cellar we have a small plot of maybe less than 30 R, so it's really, really super tiny, on which we mm -hmm. have a complantation of mixed Cabernet Sauvignon and Merlot, both complanted up Oh, okay. And that's all really of that cool. are on limestone. So that's also a kind of explanation on this super minerality that we have. And on the extraction, Axel is really uh, focusing on really keeping this minerality uh, so that to have a very fresh wine, make it very pure. And so how, what do you think for you guys? Do you think this, this is your best wine you've ever made or put in bottles so far? Uh, so far put in bottle, yes. Yeah, me too. Future will tell us, but uh, so far, yes. We are seeing the potential of our terroir. Mm. And uh, of course, babies are always new every, for, with every vintage, but uh, compared with 18s, uh, it's, I think, uh, once more uh, a step above, definitely. Uh, it, it'll be fun to compare it to the 2020 after the 20s, because uh, maybe the 20 is a combination of 19 and 18. This yeah. 19 is really sleek and lots of race, you know, like, the, like you say, um, Beaucoup de Haas, it's really, wine. really racy wine. So um, congratulations, I really enjoy it. It's a really great wine. All right, thanks a lot, James. Was production about uh, normal or was it? Well, almost normal. Uh, we did uh, around 14,000 bottles, so which is very tiny anyway, because uh, we have 5.5 hectares in yards, so we could yeah. produce more. But with Axel, we are focusing on quality instead of quantity. 
Uh, so that's average uh, production. 2018 was almost the same uh, yield uh, as uh, 2020. So it was okay. Okay, well, listen, well, thanks for the tasting. It was good for just to do a quick tasting and the wine is showing really well. Also, what I think is interesting is that I've tasted a few uh, 19s and there's really, uh, they're really showing well already. You know, normally you wait until the end of the year. Yeah. And I'm, they're really be beautiful. They're just uh, so uh, precise and well-structured. So that's exciting to see them at such an early stage showing their true character. Ah, it's quite, quite uh, indeed, uh, it's quite unusual to, to enjoy 2019 so, so young, yeah. as I would say. But yeah. as you said, James, uh, I mean, the wine are really showing uh, very well. And that's once again, uh, confirming the potential of this vintage that showing well now, for sure, it will show very well later, definitely. Right. Okay, Monami. Well, thank you very much. Say hello to Axel. Good luck with the rest of the summer. Touche, well, touche le bois. We keep you on date. <laughs> it's like touch wood. James, bye-bye. Okay, ciao, merci.